<laughs> yeah. Do you guys think that if I just, for example, were to send Linda Carter a vial of my blood that she would fall in love with me? <laughs> no. Uh, mm, okay. Yeah. Never mind then. I, I, I got to go back to FedEx and cancel I something. can't introduce her. <laughs> I can't introduce you to her stunt double, though, from the old show. That'll work. Do you think the blood thing will work on her? No. Uh -huh. It's kind of the only move I got. Ladies man. Hashtag ladies man. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the GigaHub Weekly Show, where we talk about things that matter to us but may not matter to you. I am host one of three, Luis Delatore. I am host two of three, Die Guide You Doni. And I am, like I play Formula D, Adam Crenn. Dead last. Dead last. <laughs> and like Formula D, I am dead last, Adam Crenn. That's me. Uh, Crash and burn, Adam Grant. Uh, welcome, everybody. We're going to be reviewing the Rick and Morty D&D &D starter set because yeah. we got to play this weekend and yeah. the weekend before that. Uh, but before we do, let's talk about our wonderful sponsor, Cosmic Comics, the pop culture mecca of the Mojave Desert. Don't that is a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's worth it. The more names you have, the more valuable you are. We need T-shirts. Wow. That say all this. Yes. Um, okay. Uh -huh. They have everything that your heart could ever desire, including but not limited to comic books, pop figures, T-shirts. Rick and Morty versus D&D. Rick and Morty, yeah, D&D. Both D &D. the D &D. game and the graphic novel, yeah. which you'll yeah. see here in a sec. All right. Uh, on top of a lot below. of other stuff, you can come on down to the store, talk to our knowledgeable staff. Uh, or you can order from the website. You don't even have to leave your couch. True. Your couch. It's cosmiccomics.vegas. Correct? Correct. Yeah. Cosmiccomics.vegas. You can place your order. You can have it delivered so you don't got to go nowhere. Correct. Um, yeah. Or come on down. We'd love to see your face. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. D&D. 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 Rick and Morty D&D. &D. Last year, I believe, or maybe 2019 is when it started. Yeah, maybe, yeah. They put out a comic series called Rick and Morty versus D&D. &D. I know I cut off my mic when I did that. <laughs> this is the collected Very edition. Very professional. Yeah, this is the collected edition of every issue. Yeah. Um, Can I ask a question? Is that available in the store now? It is. Oh, my god! What? Um, Can I buy the copy that's actually, in your hand? You can. <gasps> um, Touched by Adam Crenn, everyone. You can right. have that version <laughs> right. of Rick and Morty that's versus D&D. Right. &D. Um, Ooh, anyway, this, bacteria is the, on it. this is the collect edition. We don't have any of the comics. That that comic actually sold better than a lot of the other Rick and Morty, so we didn't and have a lot of the other Dungeons and Dragons. And then once this was done published, and then they actually put out this, it was followed very closely on its heels just late last well, year. Well, that's upside down. With oh my goodness, yeah. <laughs> well, okay. What kind of dog and pony show right, we running right. here? Gosh. With Dungeons and Dragons versus Rick and Morty. Yeah. Um. I, it's not really a companion. We thought it was initially. <laughs> Nothing yeah. in the comic book really happens that's in the dungeon. It's kind of a yeah. separate thing. But the dungeon is... What you is get that? one big mega dungeon. Yeah, it's one big mega dungeon. Adventure, yeah. And it's called The Lost Dungeon of Rickedness. Big Rick Energy. Yeah. <laughs> and, it's uh, basically a dungeon designed by Rick yeah. himself. By Rick Sanchez. By Rick Sanchez, yeah. Yes. Uh, As a omnipotent dungeon master. <laughs> yeah. Very similar to the one that looks like Brian Dennehy from the cartoon, but maybe more, <laughs> more evil. Right, right. Yeah, um, wasn't there like an old D and D cartoon? Yeah, ones? there was. Yeah, actually, the dungeon master, the dungeon master like is Dennehy. a character in the comic book. Oh yeah, the that dungeon version, master from the cartoons yeah, yeah. in there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, um, but he's not in here. <laughs> At least not yet. At least I haven't seen him yet. Um, so we're gonna put those down. So yeah. anyway. by the way, if you haven't seen that cartoon, it's great. Uh, it's it's I've, a lot of fun. I've only seen it. It's, in a, a it's all on YouTube. It's a lot of fun. So really? very, so very yeah. quickly, what this comes with is uh, this is essentially a Dungeons & Dragons basic set, for lack of a better term. Mm. Okay. It, it is just a repackaged, reskinned basic set. The dungeon is, however, completely, completely original. Completely original, yeah. Right. It's not Lost Minds of Fendelver or no, anything like no. that. Um, you know, it comes with the 64-page rulebook. It comes with the Lost Dungeon of Rickedness. Uh, it comes with its own special Rick and Morty Dungeon Master screen, which I think I might continue to use even when we stop playing Dungeons & Dragons. That's it's, a good screen. Because it's just cool it's looking. It's a good screen, yeah. <laughs> right? Um, uh, it also comes with five pre-generated character sheets. M all of them are the family, except for one, which is Meat Face. Which is the character that I play. The, you you Meat chose Face. Meat Face. Right? So it speaks like the macho man Randy Savage. Yeah. And it comes, yeah. And it comes with a set of dice as well. Uh, it's really cool. Um, you know, it's a cool 
different kind of starter set. However, let's get into the dungeon itself because that's where it shines. Do we have any right. pictures of the map? Because well, or should, uh, do we want to uh, give a know, map away? Well, I can I can always put something on screen. I think. Mm, okay. Um, like a little preview. It's it's not a huge dungeon, but it's a good dungeon. It's, it's a good size dungeon. I, I I was definitely a two session dungeon for sure. Yeah. Now I ha- actually I haven't played D and D since Correct. my junior year of high school. So, oh really? Yeah. yeah. I yeah. I do remember the rules vaguely, but like. I would. Um, it's not a hard game. Yeah, it's not hard. I like know. it, it is five like E. So. Like Rick says in the basic rule book, or he even says this in the comic: you roll high, you're successful. You roll low, you're not successful. Yes. That's pretty much the gist of the game. Everything else is just details. Yes. Yeah. And that's absolutely correct. And if the person who you're playing with wants to be a prick about it, then yeah, it becomes harder than it <laughs> needs <Correct>. to be. <laughs> Correct, correct. Now, yeah, now Tony has not played with us, unfortunately. Yeah, and we're um, we Adam and myself are in a gaming group, right? And we played this the last two weeks, right? Um, we're not through with it yet, actually, but we're you guys are almost there. We're almost to the end, uh, yeah. but we we yeah, we're slowly making our way through every dungeon. So the one thing that you that you should know is if you're looking for a serious <laughs> grim like, dark dungeon, not even grim dark. If you're looking <laughs> yeah. for a serious game. To, for new players to start off with, it's this, this is not this it. is not it. Granted, it is for new players, it is for beginners, right. it is for fans of Rick and Morty, right. but you're, it's not going to be serious at all. Jo- right. Just about every weird, idiotic trope about dungeons that you know is in the book and yes, very cleverly is, put in the book. That is true. Yeah. For, yeah. For example, we our cleric has light. But right. she can't. But she doesn't need to use light because the dungeon's lit. The dungeon is lit. <laughs> the dungeon has has. According uh, to Rick, who cares? It's a dungeon. It's, it's lit. A dungeon. It's yeah, fine. it's lit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what what is our uh, what is our other uh, um, group member called? Like a it's like a public works, dun pun dungeon. Oh yeah, you guys called it that. I didn't call it that. I think Frank called it that. That's what I'm it's saying. Pub- Frank, it's was a public a, work dungeon. It's a public yeah. works dungeon. Yeah, yeah. So all the monsters are waiting for you to show up. Yeah. Yeah. They're yeah. Basically, yeah. P- planning on you. Uh, it's like there's it's like, actually encounters it, that actually rely on the fact that they're just sitting there waiting on you. Yeah. <laughs> now for the, for the comic itself, I only read like the first three issues. I haven't read that whole uh, right. thing. Um, any other characters beside the family show up from the show Rick and Morty? Uh, not in the dungeon yet. Um, the family's there and Meat Face. Um, Meat Face is an extra character that you get. Meat uh, Face is an extra fighter. Yeah. Yeah, well, which is the character that I, again, I haven't caught up in Rick and Morty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Unless Meat Face is in the new season, because I haven't seen that. yet. I haven't seen it, but he's just your um, standard big dude. So yeah, I'm yeah. sure there's a lot of characters that look like him in the show somewhere. Yeah, I um, know it gets the the comic gets the personality of Rick right because it's um it's pretty plausible that Rick would do this and yeah that what, situation. What's funny about the comic is it's one of the very few times where you see Rick being warm to Morty. In the comic, really, when when Morty wants to learn how to play Dungeons and Dragons because he's trying to get laid, yes, um, of course, because he meets his. Well, at first at school he hears about it, and then he goes to a store, and there's like a very cute girl who's kind of introduces him to it, even though he acts like he's done it and been there. Yeah, and um, now he wants to learn so he can get laid, but then Rick's Rick's like, "There's a sentence you like, never thought like, you'd hear. I'm learning Dungeons and Dragons to get laid." Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Um, Rick's like touched. He's like, yes. oh yeah, and then he goes, I take back twenty three percent of everything I've said about you. Oh. <laughs> That's a substantial amount right. for Rick. Yes. I think. Uh, what's great about the dungeon, though, is you know the guy who wrote it. I should. Well, what's his name? Rick is in the dungeon. Yeah, Rick. He's not the main bad guy. So but we haven't gotten to that part. We haven't gotten to the BBG if there is one yet. But um, oh, it doesn't have a name on it. Oh, it's boneheaded. Um, but the guy who wrote the dungeon really understands like the characters of yeah. <laughs> Rick. <laughs> sort of the world, really. Because the DM's notes in there are really funny. Like the descriptions of the rooms are funny, but the DM's notes yeah. are equally funny. What, like when you read it, because you yeah. you read when you read them, yeah. Like you're not doing it in the Rick voice, yeah. but you can hear the Rick the, voice, the way yeah. it's written. You yeah. could hear Rick. It's like yeah. Rick is saying all of it. Any any shortcut stuff because it's not important. Like. <laughs> oh my god. Well, that's oh, never god, no. <laughs> well, store's closed. Sorry. All right. Um <laughs> ignore that. Ignore that. Um but yeah, the uh some of the descriptions like he just kind of like it's a room. What do you want? I mean, yeah. go in it. It's a room. <laughs> it's a room. Yeah, there's But then of course he does things like a uh, a particularly old school DM would where he kind of tricks you with like it's just a room. It's no big deal. Just go in it. Like yeah. what is the one where like it's a chest on a pedestal. It's no big deal. It's plain. And then you go in and you open the chest and it's a mimic. It's a mimic. And then the pedestal turns into a mimic. And then, and then part of the floor is also a mimic. Is also a mimic. <laughs> yeah. Like it's Spoilers, crazy. yeah. 
Um, so yeah, one of the rooms. I don't want to give away too much in case you want to buy it and play it. But one of the right. rooms, there was a trap um, that I had, and I had, I had seen before. It's not, a, it's not a new concept. Oh, I had right. seen the trap before. I had played someone who had used this trap or, uh, already, right. and I knew what was going to happen, but I didn't want to meta game. Yeah. But it's got stuff like that where it's really inclined to mess with the players, <laughs> yeah. but in a fun way. Like we were never at no point did I feel like any of us were ever like railroaded or yeah. felt uh, <laughs> felt like we couldn't do anything right. or felt um I mean there's a couple times you guys almost died but that was more that was more cuz of the fights that were happening I have not gone down once yeah I've come close I thought, to I've I come say, close I thought to you down went down. down No I've come close to come going um, down I think I was down to one hit point at one point Yeah yeah um, it comes complete with a Meeseeks box. Ooh, oh, wow. yeah, there is a Meeseeks box. Yeah. And listen, guys, I will say this. Don't be afraid to take that Meeseeks box. Uh, I did. I, I, I took the Meeseeks box when we found it, and I believe it's, been it's so useful. Yeah, I believe it's fixed in the actual dungeon, but I let you guys take it. How does I, that, I wanted to see how crazy it would get. Oh, does, and like, some of the things you guys have done have been hilarious. Yeah. Is there, like, any special rules with Meeseeks no. boxes? Because, you know, how the I box mean, the, actually works in the show. They're not terribly tough, to be honest. They have low armor class because they're naked so yeah. they're basically naked humans yes um, and they're pretty weak <laughs> and i got a couple hit points yeah. yeah but they're it's useful when you summon them to do stuff yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. we've been trying to find the most creative way to use the me six box every time we <laughs> here i am look at me yeah and there and i i love that every time we hit the button you 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 say here i am look at me just like that <laughs> so you guys hit it like nine times i'm like i'm not saying that nine times <laughs> you need to my immersion my immersion right right um, I don't. It's a fun dungeon. Like it, like I said, it's very much. It's one of those dungeons that uh, yeah, you, would, little... you would create when you were thirteen, where every room is a thing. Every <laughs> room thing, has yeah. an encounter. And you every... edgy... Except for the bathroom, kind of. Yeah, the one. <laughs> yeah. There's one bath. There's like a fancy bathroom in the middle <laughs> of the dungeon. A fancy bathroom. You, you just want to be as cruel as to the other players as much as possible. Uh, right. I mean, not. It's not needlessly cruel. It's yeah. it's definitely a little old. It leans old school, but it's not like needlessly cruel because some dungeons way back in the day. They were needlessly cruel, yeah. and even even in the comic, they hint at that because the first time Rick shows them D and D, they play all night long. And Rick, I mean Morty, dies like seven times, and he's mad and he's frustrated. Mm -hmm. He's like, "I quit," and Rick's like, "No, you passed. You did it. You stayed the whole time. That was first edition. That is brutal. It is relentless. <laughs> you had no hope. <laughs> like, but now we'll move on to something better. Now yeah. I know you're ready. Yeah, yeah, basically." Yeah. But uh, this leans a little bit that way in tone, but not so much in actual deadliness. <laughs> right. So, the, so it, it practically makes fun of past D and D versions. The and, dungeon past yeah. tropes. Yeah, trope. It makes fun of D and D tropes for sure. Yes. Yeah, it homages them and yeah. kind of satirizes Does, them. Yeah, but, but without making the game feel complicated right. or deadly or needless. Like every time we encountered something in a room that was new, I was like, it was. Crazy, but in a fun, in a fun <laughs> right, right. way, in a very fun, funny well, way. Yeah, I'm a little it, envious because I think once we start, once we get away from this dungeon, it's going to seem terribly dull. <laughs> does it like satirize anything else regarding D and D, like the culture surrounding it, like maybe? Um... Uh, not the dungeon itself. The comic book does that quite a bit. Yeah, um, but not, I, not like, the dungeon. I, I didn't finish the comic. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like the dungeon the, is more immersed in in D and D yeah. uh, lore, I guess. Yeah, there is a bit in the comic where they think Summer's dead because Rick keeps saying how don't you know don't die because we're in a simulation you could really die, and then Summer dies, but then she's still alive and she's like it's just a game you don't die, and then I think Rick says something like yeah but don't play Pac Man because that's forever <laughs> 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 or something like that. It's like what? Yeah, uh, that's true because even if. You yeah. Pac Man, like even if you like max out the score, <laughs> right. the game starts glitching out and half the screen doesn't even look like a Pac Man right. maze anymore. <laughs> but uh yeah, so it is it is for uh brand new players for sure. It yeah. does come with what the five is it five gener pre generated characters? Yeah, five pre generated characters. Which, in, which is the family, Sans it's very Rick, well balanced, yeah. And Meat Face. Yeah. Um Meat it's, Face is kind of your heavy hitter. So it doesn't alienate uh, anyone. Okay. No, I mean it has all the classes. Okay. It's designed to give everything you a that wide you range. need yeah. if you're brand new is on the sheet. Yeah. So all of your features, all of your yeah, all the things that you have, like it's really, all done for you. They're really cool. It's got cool artwork. Uh, you know, I'll uh, during this part I'll probably show some slides so you can at least see the character sheets. Okay. But stuff like that. Um, you know, there's there's the butt trap. That's the butt trap. Effing hilarious. Yeah. Um, 
<laughs> like I would love to I'm talk to, about everything say, in the dungeon, yeah, but yeah, to, like we don't want to give it I'm away because we want people to. I want people to play. There's it. the pickle room, which was fantastic. Oh, the whole my whole pickle saga. Was, yeah, the uh, pickle saga was amazing. Um, there was the there was the there was the I guess for lack of a better term, it was the dungeon <laughs> creature break room that you guys want wandered into and got recruited to help entertain the dungeon creatures. Oh, yes, that's right. Yeah, that was uh, that was a weird. That was Yeah, weird, it's like yeah. I said every it's like a 13-year-old made a dungeon, right? Like every room is an encounter right. of some of some shape or form. Right, like there's right. always something going on in every thing. Every time we go into a new room, I'm like, "All right, what's in this room?" Yeah. cuz something's going to happen in this room and it usually does, yeah. except for the bathroom. Except for the bathroom. Which yeah. was a nice break, I guess. <laughs> yeah. And it was like a very, but that was the thing. It was like a very nice bathroom. Yeah, it was like, a very nice bathroom. I, I don't think, I don't remember the dungeon. It didn't have an attendant. I just put a goblin attendant in there. Yeah. I thought it'd be funny. <laughs> With I, oh, the little mints yeah. and the towels and everything. Oh, yeah. No, everything that you've yeah. done that you've added to the game has been primo. It's been a very fun game. Yeah, guys, feel free to add things to these yeah, it's designed that way. Pre-generated yeah. Uh, yeah. adventures and stuff. Wait, really? Yeah. You can add, like add more. That's not part of the. Oh, you can always. You yeah. can always homebrew can always stuff all the time. Yeah. Oh, okay. Adam did a bunch. Yeah. And I think uh, I read some of the DM's notes to you because they're just so funny. I didn't, yeah. I had. To, I said I have to read this part to you. Yeah, it was yeah, great. It's pretty funny stuff. Yeah, it's great. But if you're at all interested in D and D and you're a Rick and Morty fan, yeah, definitely check it out because it's it's good. It's, it's very a good, good introduction. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, especially if like if you're not into maybe you have friends that are not so much into D and D, but they're into Rick and Morty. You could probably get them into D and D this way. Right? Yeah. You know what I mean, or oh, vice versa. Me. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe get someone into Rick and Morty who yeah. isn't into Rick and Morty. It is a fun game, though. Yep. Can I ask a question though and then the, oh, to yeah. Tony? Oh. Yes. You said you the the first time you played or the last time you played was <laughs> middle school. What's going on? Yeah. Was your uh, is there a ghost? Is the junior ghost high? Thing? Junior high. What was the first character you played? Huh? Um, paladin, you think? A paladin? Yeah. Pal- okay. Paladin. Paladin. A paladin. I was tricked into playing a cleric. <laughs> ah. My very first time I was tricked into. That's playing how you a know you're not with a good group. Oh, we need a cleric, bro. But yeah, yeah right. Like, like, it's like a knight, so I just kept running up and hitting everything. Yeah. They're like, "No, we need you to heal," and I'm like, "Fuck that! I'm a knight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna sit back and heal." Yeah. Why would I do that? Yeah. So. Yeah. Nobody's first. Game. I didn't understand. <laughs> Everybody's first game should be. A fighter, honestly. Just so Everyone's you, first you character should be a stuff, fighter. Yeah. Yeah. Just so you can go hit stuff. Yeah. Um, That's true. What was I your agree. first character? Do you remember? Just a little D&D memories oh here while we're talking about. Oh, my I don't remember. You don't remember. What's your most memorable? What's What character that you did you make that sticks out in your mind? Um, it was a very high-end, sort of a high fantasy game, and I, I, for lack of a better term, I, my character was basically Adam Warlock. He was like a fighter. <laughs> really? No, he was. Yeah, he was a fighter, a wizard, and he was. They were seeking soul gems, and and it was like very high-end, like wow. very, like fifteenth level, sixteenth level. I mean, is that tra- where you started, or you worked up to fifteen, sixteen? No, I mean it moved fast because that was just the style the guy DM'd in. And, um, oh, okay, he just yeah, gave so levels we did away. like we did a lot of stuff. A lot, like we did a lot of crazy craziness. Yeah. Mm, okay. Um, that was memorable. Um, I had a really cool. This is more when I was an adult. I had a really cool uh, uh, neutral evil elf, mm-hmm. and he was essentially he was essentially just a ranger. But I mean, he wasn't. <laughs> okay. He he pawned himself off as a ranger. He's really an assassin. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. But sure. uh, yeah, he was he was just. You know, I kind of envision him kind of like uh, Ripley from you know, the Ripley books, not so much the movies, because the oh. movies really didn't get the character right. Mm. Um, you'd have to read the books to understand, but he was just a guy. Like, he could like people, and he would even help them, but if they hindered him, he'd kill him in a second. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh, you're slowing me down. Sorry. Whoop. It's <laughs> you know, chaotic neutral, Stuff right? like that. I like never, that. at that point, I had never really played an evil character, and I wanted to try it. And He worked pretty good. He was okay. cool. You weren't a jerk. No, no, not at all. Because he knew he needed the people around him. Mm. Oh, like a like a serial killer, like a sociopath. Right, and and the 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 advantage of neutral. <laughs> you evil, made a sociopath. The, yeah, I did. And, <laughs> and the advantage of being neutral evil is you can be, you're casually evil. You're not, you're 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 very self interested, but you're not going to screw anybody over if they benefit you. Why would exactly, you? Exactly. Yeah. Why would you? Yeah. They're helping you. Yeah. yeah. 
But you'll definitely kill a prisoner if they're slowing you down. Like, nope, this guy's got to go. I, I, I would probably be really hard to do now since we ran through the adventure already. But I would love to do. Uh, Excuse me. Maybe, maybe we could do like a an audio thing of a game or something like that, or maybe some sort of a video would be fun. Maybe of it doesn't this? have to of be that dungeon? done. Maybe not even has to be that done. Maybe yeah. something short that we can. I would like to all do. I, I would love to, but everybody's kind of gonna agree. That's always the crux. Or I'm talking about the three of us, and maybe we can get someone say, to DM we'd for have us. To, yeah, or we'd have to have kind of a separate thing with us. Yeah. yeah, maybe just for like a show. Maybe we could do that. Put it on the Patreon. Who knows? Would you be interested in doing something like that, Tony? Potentially, yeah. Yeah, potentially. Well, let us know in the comments because now I'm inspired. <laughs> I would love to play a yeah. game that we that people would want to listen to. But uh, I went a little bit into D and D memories. Rick and Morty uh, versus D and D uh, is an awesome. Yeah, awesome box. You should get it. It is. It was really yeah. It's really fun. So now far. We're, we're not we're, even done all. Yeah, we're not even telling you this because we were asked to or anything. No. Like we so just out. yeah, we just you know, started now. playing two weeks ago. Right, and it's been so much to... fun. And it's like we got to tell people yeah. about this game. It's yeah. so good. With the mm-hmm. yeah, basically, long story short, with the pandemic, we actually have not played for a while. So once the group started getting back together over the last month or so. We were playing board games, and we wanted to get back into D and D or a variation of D and D. Yeah, and this was a good way to sort of like get us back in and have some fun. And it's been way more fun than I think any of us anticipated. This, yeah, it's this a, dungeon has been absolutely insane and a blast. It's yeah. A, yeah, it's been a, it's yeah. it was it's been a good time, and you've been running it really really awesome. Thank it's you, been thank it's you. been a lot of fun. Um, but yes, I I mean I highly recommend that you can get you go get it if you can. I have not read the comic, but the comic does sound interesting. So it's funny. Yeah. You can come on that. I will sell as us. You can come down here and get the uh, the you can whole. Get both, yeah. You can and now the book that you had there is the entire uh, this is, collected run for right, now. Was, I would um, imagine it was three. It was three four issue series, maybe six issue series, or maybe some of them was four, some of them six. That's how the Rick and Morty comics go. They're usually like four to six issues, right? And they're actually different. They kind of have different titles, but there was three series, I believe, with Rick and Morty versus D and D, and um, this is all of those collected specifically, right? Yeah. There's a lot of cool pictures in there too. There's like a Rick as a Sarah Rick I was just looking at. It. It's pretty cool. <laughs> the Rick Lich. <laughs> yeah, it's like a lot of just sort of like the twisted versions of whatever D and D artwork that you like. But it's very good. It's a very yeah. good system. The character sheets are. Cool. It's a very good. It's a very cool character. Very very cool character sheets. A very fun game. Highly yeah. recommended. Yeah. I don't know if you want to rate it, but I'd rate it four stars. Yeah. Yeah, and, yeah. and it comes with a set I of. I can't of rate it Rick. because I haven't even played it at all. Sorry, man. <laughs> you you will, Anthony. You will. So you were sort of silent this episode. We apologize. Yeah. Oh no, like I I, I shared somewhat of my ex- past experience oh, with D and D before. Cool. Uh, it comes with dice too. Vaguely, it does come with dice. Actually, yeah. in one of the rooms, I believe you actually find the dice. <laughs> yeah, and I picked them up and I took them, but you wouldn't actually let me actually I wouldn't let have you the dice. Actually, let like, you. It have wasn't the dice. a handout, and that was the <laughs> right. that was that's the one complaint I have about your GM style. <laughs> However, I can rate what I've read with the comics. So far, and it's enjoyable. It's, it's probably good, yeah. how much of the, the comics have you read? read? Most of them, probably the first three. You said, yeah, first three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. So you read the the old school D and D players where they kept him up all night. Yes, and he I died read. like seven times. Oh my yeah. god, he was so mad. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Morty was so mad. He's like, "No, you passed the test, boy." <laughs> oh, I'll have to read it. I'll have to read yeah. it. That sounds interesting. It's good stuff. Uh, anyway, yes. Uh, if, yeah, if, if, yeah. Like I said, if you would like to play the game or read the comics, you can go to cosmicomics.vegas. Uh, order it there so they yep. can co- deliver to your home, or you can come on down Hello. to the store. Yeah, you can go down to the link in the in the description, or you can come down to the store, talk to our knowledgeable staff, and right. they'll be able to point you out. Maybe you'll get the version that Adam was holding. Ooh, that's the one I'm hoping for. Yeah, with my fingerprints Ooh-wee, all over. Ooh, that's the and one your I breath want. In it. Yeah, my hands your are breath, clean. Your breath all over it. My hands are clean. And he's got hot breath, everyone. I can smell it from here. <laughs> uh, I'm, uh. I'm I'm at least twelve <laughs> feet away from him, and I can smell it from here. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, so yeah, you can order that stuff from us. You can come down and get them, uh, so that you can also enjoy the dungeon. Uh, yeah, if check you, it out. Yeah. Uh, if you've played and you would like to talk about it with us, if you liked it or disliked it, uh, let us know in the comments. Right. Uh, you can like or dislike the video. Uh, you c- please do share. Yes. Uh, please do subscribe. Please. That way you can hate us on a mu- on a weekly on basis a or love level. us or love us on a weekly basis. Whatever you want to do. Yeah. Um, and let us know what your experience with the game was if you d- do end up playing it. Yeah. Um, I guess that's it, guys. We got anything else? That's it for no. me. That's it for us. All right, guys. Uh, we're going to leave you, and we'll see you guys next week. Good night. Right. Night.